Good morning, Kingsley community. Pastor Colin Weirman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday morning. I'm running a little late. June 6, 2022. Loosely using Be Still and New by Broad Street Publishing. June 6, devotional is entitled Security Blanket. Psalm 4, verse 8. In peace I, lie, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. So the writer writes, have you ever spent hours or minutes that seem like hours searching frantically for a blankie, passy, or lammy in an attempt to quiet the inconsolable child sprawled on the floor? Yes. Ah, what wonderful security item. The magic silencer, the instant peacemaker. As kids grow older, we try to wean them off those security items, the blankets, that are torn to shreds, the teddy bears with missing eyes, or the pacifiers that are chewed beyond recognition. Most children don't agree that they could do without the security of those things, and they have a point. Think of all the times you've walked through trials and found yourself at a loss. Where do you go to feel secure? The, bless, the best place you can go is to God. He is our security, and he gives us the strength we need to press on. We should feel lost when we don't have him nearby. When he's right beside us, sharing our pillow in the dark of night, riding beside us in the car, or sitting next to us at our desk, we sense that everything is going to be okay. So I talked about that yesterday during service for the Lord's Prayer. I talked about the verse that says, And Lord, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And so we talked about missing commas. The prayer um, and the theological viewpoint of that prayer, of that verse in that prayer is, And Lord, comma, lead us, comma. So we pray every time we pray that prayer, the Lord to lead us. And the Lord does not lead us to, um, does, Lord does not lead us to places where we will be harmed. The Lord leads us, as Psalm 23 says, to paths of righteousness, to still waters. And as Psalm 4 says, to a place of safety where I can lay down and sleep. So um, a lot of times it's us leading ourselves. And when we lead ourselves, we can fall into temptation. We can also fall into a place of harm. Now, God might keep us in a place where we're being tested to see how we do, to see if we will turn back to God, if we will rely on God, if we will pray again, Lord, lead us. So every time you pray the Lord's Prayer, take a pause after the word, lead us, come not into temptation like I myself would lead myself into temptation or as evil would lead me into temptation or as maybe a bad, you know, a bad person I hang out with, a bad influential person that I hang out with might lead me to. But Lord, you lead me instead today. And so we always know that God will lead us to a place of safety. And if we do fall into temptation, I talked about yesterday and I preached about this, 1 Corinthians 10.13, Paul says, um, there's no temptation that you will um, in, you will experience that the Lord will not allow you to endure because the Lord is with us. So we talk about Jesus. Oh, and if you are tempted, there's he always provides an exit, a way out, a red flag. Because there's a space between being tempted and a space to when you act on that temptation. When you actually sin, there's time in between there. Might just be a few seconds. But if you pray, Lord, lead me away from this, lead me to still waters, lead me to a place of calm, we can really um, get ourselves out of a lot of situations that we run into, like whether we want to spout back at someone and react to someone, or whether we want to take a few seconds and have the Lord lead our tongues, have the Holy Spirit lead our tongues. And so we have to learn to listen to the Spirit who guides us to all truth, to peace, and to safe places. Now, the Spirit will also lead us to speak up. The Spirit may have us speak up about our faith, about what we believe is right. But if the Spirit is leading, the Spirit will do it in a kind, loving way. So there's that time in between the temptation, the thought about what it is that you want to do that you know you shouldn't, and the time between when you do it. If you give in to the temptation. There's always a space, and God provides a way out during that space. And we know that if we are in the temptation, in the midst of it, or we're, we're being tempted, and we're trying to turn away, and it's getting harder and harder, and we're going closer and closer to that temptation, all we have to do is think about the fact that God is not 
going anywhere. God is right there with you, right beside you, standing next to you, urging you to turn away. Um, and uh, we know that to be true because of Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. We know that Jesus um, is God in the flesh and was in the wilderness being tempted by Satan, and he was there. So we know that you know, God is with us in our temptation. He knows what it's like. He knows how to respond. He knows what to do to get rid of those evil thoughts. And he knows what to do when we'd rather react than respond. So, um, so know that God's with you. So you can't say, well, you know, God wasn't around. God didn't help me with that. Oh, no, God's right there. It's us who choose to give in to the temptation. There's always a time period between the thought of temptation, the thought of wanting to do what you know you shouldn't do, and the time you do it. And so during that time, we need to pray, Lord, lead us to the still waters. Lead us to a place of safety. Lead me away from myself who's trying to <laughs> lead myself into temptation. We do that a lot. So, um, and how do we do that? Well, let's see. We hang out with people that we know are going to gossip because they're so much fun. Or we um, set ourselves up to eat that ice cream because we, you know, saw that it was on sale. Well, it's on sale. That justifies buying it. Well, if you know it's in the house, you already know you're going to eat it. So don't buy it. <laughs> Those kind of things. But then we do have a tempter um, who is out there that doesn't test us. Satan doesn't test us. The evil one doesn't test us because the evil one wants us to fail so the evil one will throw every temptation at us and the evil one knows scripture knows god's word um, a lot of times better than those that aren't studying it so we really have to be up on god's word we have to be praying for god to lead us and when we when we know we're being tempted and we know that that temptation is right there we need to stop and pray that god will lead us out of it or give us an escape route which we know god will do because that's what the word tells us so Let's pray. Lord, we look solely to you for our security today. Lead us not, into, not to places that I myself will put myself in to be tempted or that others would try to tempt me. But Lord, lead me into places of safety, peace, and calm. In the name of Christ, amen. All right, I hope you have a good day.